Hello and welcome to my course on social security in dynamic general equilibrium. This is a course I designed for a graduate course in Augsburg and for PhD courses in Munich, Luxembourg and Leipzig. But you can also use it as an online course and for self-study so you do not necessarily have to take part in my lectures here in Augsburg, but can follow it from the web. So all the material is available in, in the web and I would encourage you to go along if you like. So let me present to you some basic facts of this course. This is an introductory video. There will be dozens to follow and they are basically taken from my book Public Economics Chapter three on overlapping generations model and chapter six on social security and public pensions. So our main question here is how can we integrate the questions of optimal pensions of pension policy in dynamic general equilibrium modeling here and of course since we need since the age structure is really important here for for our policy questions we use a model that is able to to reflect the demographics of the US economy or the German economy or whichever. And this is the overlapping generations model. So we will start with a simple two period overlapping generations model in chapter three. And later on, we will extend it in the second part of this, of this uh, lecture and look how we can integ integrate public pensions and social security in this model. And therefore, we need to extend the model a little bit, bit go from two periods to 60, 70 periods, so each period corresponding to one year. And then we have a large scale overlapping generation models. And I do not only show you the economic intuition and the economic mechanisms in this model, but also the way you can compute them numerically. So these are complex models. So you have some 400, 500, endogenous variables and you can no longer use pencil and paper to compute what's happening. So you need the computer and you need to use numerical software. Now this course comes with two kinds of software. So you can either use MATLAB or use Gauss and the videos are all uh, taken, uh, recorded for these two different software programs. So just choose whichever you feel more comfortable with and you only need little prior knowledge. So I, I will lead you through it step by step. So if you have some basic knowledge like some if con or some conditional statements or some loops and from then we will go on and and use uh, more sophisticated programming, solving nonlinear equations, solving uh, difficult multidimensional optimization problems. We will get to it. So if you're not familiar with MATLAB or Gauss, you may nevertheless find it useful to follow this course. So you can easily translate it into Python, Julia, C++, Fortran, or whichever software you may find useful. Okay, now where can you find the material to follow this course? So let's get to my homepage for the book Public Economics, The Macroeconomic Perspective. Uh, Springer 2019. I'm sorry for this rather long link here. So you, you may find this page by just typing my name Burkhard here and the title of the book Public Economics, The Macroeconomic Perspective, and you should be able to get there. So let's scroll down the page and see what kind of material you find. Well, first, there is the download computer code here. So you, on this page, you find the computer code for all the applications in the book and, of course, all the applications that we will encounter during the course of this lecture. So you can choose between Gauss program or Mat Pro, MATLAB programs and all programs, all codes is available here. In case you have no prior knowledge um, there are also video tutorials available here where you can learn about MATLAB and Gauss and this is a good starting place. And we will also go along in this course uh, starting from the simplest MATLAB or Gauss program in, 
in chapter three and building up to ever and ever more complex models. So this is also a computational course here and, an, and a software course. Next, you find the teaching material here. So I will present to you a couple of hundred slides and these PDF slides are down, available as a download from my homepage as well. And you should download the material on chapters three and chapter, chapter six. So here you find the slides, chapter three, overlapping generations model, and chapter six, pensions. At the end of the chapters, you ask to do some, some problems. This may, may be pencil and paper questions, but most of the time you have to solve numerically problems with the help of a computer code. And you also find the solution to this online here. So here you have a solution manuals, a PDF that you can download. So the typical problem here are solved. For example, here we have the Lagrangian to solve a problem, but there are also links to computer code. Some of the problems you need to write your own computer code. And you don't learn computing if you do not write your own code. And last but not least, of course, the video tutorials that you should follow. So there are a couple of dozens in the following which will teach you chapter three, the overlapping generations model and chapter six on social security. There are some lecture videos on YouTube. And then you have to choose whether you use Gauss or MATLAB code and download the uh, corresponding YouTube courses. And I will also uh, install a playing list for you so that you can just watch them sequentially in the right order one after the other. Okay, I hope this gets you somehow hooked and you start to follow this course. Um, I would really appreciate if you, if you enjoy this course, uh, stay on. And if you have questions or comments, how I can improve this course and should teach it in the future, please feel welcome to, to send me an email. And I hope you, uh, you've watched the next video, which is an introduction to the two period overlapping generations model taken from chapter 3.1 and 3.2 of my book. It's the simplest two-period overlapping generation model, and it's a very easy starting point to get to learn also some programming techniques in MATLAB or in Gauss. We just solve a simple dynamic first-order linear equation. So this is simple, simple starting point. So good luck.